what's going on, you bunch of heretics. Grab your paint pots, grab your recaf, and let's get some paint on that ever-growing pile of potential. It's here, the Heresy is My Therapy Slap Chop Tutorials. And today, we're doing a bit of an easy non-metal metallics using Slap Chop. Quick and easy. Um, yeah, quick and easy, should be all right, but a very easy way to do non-metal metallics or NMM for short. We're gonna be using a Stormcast Eternal, only fitting the Age of Sigmar is on the way, so yes. As always, everything you need will be in the description below. And so yeah, without further ado, let's get to it. Right, so to create our very simple NMM effect, we have our Stormcast model. And what we're going to do is we're going to apply an underlayer of Rhinox Hide. Okay, so on our wet palette, we're going to create a nice thin coat, a thin coat of Rhinox Hide all over the model. Okay, it's a little bit of water, nothing neat. And all we want to do is over the areas that we're going to paint gold. Okay, so pretty much all of this, pads, knees, all of here, on the hilt, all of his arm work, back, not the pauldrons too much, tops of the pauldrons maybe, okay, backs of the legs. Yeah, if it's messy, it doesn't really matter too much. Okay, but all we're doing, we're just getting a nice layer on the model. Okay, thin layer, just to give it the depth that we're after when it comes to the slap chop. Okay. Right, um, so what I've done here is, I've just added, just as I'm going along, a bit of Barak Nar Burgundy just into the, onto the staff, and then a bit of Cantor blue, just in the shields, there. So now that all dry, I'm now going to get my Army Painter brush. Uh, my mechanic is standard gray. And as always guys, we're gonna go for our four tier system that we apply. So again, plenty on the, on the brush. And then I'm just going to take it all off. Yes, I'm aware I still haven't got myself a texture palette. I'm quite aware of that. Anyway, that's plenty on there. And all we're doing, as we have done before, nice and messy. We're just getting everywhere into the model. Big circles. Getting in, and everywhere we don't get, we're gonna we're gonna get with our smaller brush. Okay, we got a good chunk of it on there. There, oh yeah. And just rub it in, circles it in, circles, circles, circles. This is not neat. Doesn't need to be. No requirement for neatness here, troops. And I know. When they're done, I'll just clean that off. And then we'll grab our smaller one to do the same again. Kind of just on the gray, just in. And then we'll do we just take it all off. And then we can just get in amongst little bits that we missed earlier. Okay. Easy as this. Easy as this. Okay, right. Next up, that's that one done. Administratum grey. Little shake off. brush 
Take it off. Cool, and then same again. And adjust. Not really affecting the shadows too much now. We're just all over the model still. Okay. Like so. So with our administrator grey applied, we're now going to move on to our orthon grey. Same again. <laughs> okay, same again. Yeah. Turn it on the brush. We're just going to take it all off. We just take it all off. Okay. Oof, jeepers. It's more tissue in a minute. Okay. So remember this time we are just remember the old stab. Stab and twist. Stab and twist. Stab and twist. It's the old like dab and stab. As we did before. Okay. And you'll just start to see it all come together. Okay. Again, don't be afraid to go a lot lighter than you might expect with this. Okay, we're really trying to now start to really pick out those highlighted areas. Okay. So again, you know, you'll really start to see where that light is, is on them. Okay. We're not going up the model, we're just going down really focusing on where the light is going to be grabbing the model okay so what I'm doing now I'm just getting my um, I'm just getting my Citadel dry brush small getting my my white scar and all I'm simply doing is very easily just down the model okay where there's no light where that light is gonna catch it okay just down the model remember you can go as light as you want with this This is going to help us create those highlights on the model. Okay, but just down, 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 down. Flicking down, all the way down. And you know, go a little bit lighter than you might expect with this. Okay, just go a little bit lighter than you might expect. Okay, just down, 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 down. Okay. Okay. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get our skeleton horde, and we're gonna get our lamian medium. Okay. Bit of a 50/50 mix on this. Let's move this around for you. Okay. Lamian medium, and we're gonna go all over the model with these two. 50/50 lamian medium and skeleton horde. Okay. So skeleton horde. Just get it onto your wet poet. Okay. Cool. Cut that off. And a bit of lime and medium in there. Yeah. Get that right down. Okay. To a nice mix there. And then all we're doing is we are just over the model. All the areas we're going to have in gold. So it's the face the chest, these pauldrons on his side, legs, all of the back, tops of the pauldrons, all the arm work here, top of the weapon, okay? So we're just gonna go over a couple of times, a couple of thin layers of that, all right? Right, there we go. 
as you can see the uh, a skeleton horde has been applied very lightly over there hopefully yeah, it looks like that right there might be you can see that way who knows anyway get that light back on so all we do now same sort of thing again but we're going to take our iron down yellow iron down yellow and it's going to be the exact same again but all i'm going to do is it's just a really light glazing over the top of this so again need my lamia medium onto my palette lamia medium there okay um iron down yellow again mix it in nicely and i'm just going to do a very thin layer just over the top of this now and you'll start to see this almost gordling up rather nicely okay so same again all the areas that we've just done we're now going to properly apply this very thin layer of iron down yellow over the top okay remember over all the pauldrons on his leg here the knees and so we are taking our time a little bit more with this now okay we're just taking our time a little bit more with this because we're now going to try and create that golden effect okay belt buckles Let's see armor work in here all right so like i say thin layer just now kind of give it that golden look. All right. Cool hair. All right, there you are. The Iron Dan Yellow applied. And yeah, it's all starting to come together nicely now, isn't it? So this is now we're gonna to start to really get into the weeds of it all. What we want now is our smaller our smaller STL brushes, okay? This is now where we're gonna to start to add some depth. So we're gonna want our Gore Grunter Fur, and as always, our Lamian Medium. So what we can do, um, we can just kind of add this into our yellow mix. Okay, so into the yellow mix over here, and we're just gonna add that, that we're going to fur in there now again this needs to be thinned right down with your lamium medium okay thin right down with that lamium medium okay and all we're doing so all we're doing taking loads of it off I'm now just starting to work in all the recesses all the recesses so what we want to do is start to look where the light is just underneath just round into all the crevices so where all the light kind of where it's darker that's where we're going to start to just touch up these little areas okay keep the brush nice and wet okay keep the brush nice and wet and again just in all underneath all around here so we can just, just again just start to just if it's a bit thick we just take it off just place it in again into the dark areas nice and thin into the crevices really really much into the crevices okay all the parts where the light wouldn't really be getting to just inside here now if you need to place the model down have a little look and put it back up again all right so again light isn't going to get into here but we're just in those little gaps right but again we are not it's nice and light 
nice and light with the priming medium hey whoop bit too bright that light there okay and again I've gone there a bit too much it pulled a little bit so I just take my brush just spread the ghost find those areas that would be darker where it would sit underneath okay into the creases Okay, into the folds, into the creases. All right, again, work into the back area. We're going to underneath, underneath the bottom. Okay, looks like it would be a bit darker than expected. So again, the, the palette's nice and damp. And we're just letting the creases in there underneath okay just a little bit on the tops there there we go that's nice just play around with it you know sit where this have a little look where the light would sit where it wouldn't sit but in the joints you know in the creases that's where you really want to be uh, you know another little tip is find a picture on instagram you know to to use Kind of give you the rough idea of where it would all really sit properly. Okay, so even on the shield, we're just gonna almost gonna go straight round like so. Really finding those edges and again the centre bits. Like I say, I'm using something off off Instagram. Um, and then again we get into here just into the into the crevices just being a little bit messy with it dying it around seeing where it would just naturally kind of fall into the lightning bolts so on and so forth okay and you'll just see that dry as you're going around the model so you'll see where it's drying again we're just playing around with it it's what it's so important this is so thin okay this has to be really really thin okay into the face again into the crevices just like you would a normal face you know just again into the cheekbones temples around the eyes again just like I say I'll play with it same again in the tops of the pauldrons we're just moving it around like I say find a, a good NMM picture and use that as your guide if you need to but otherwise just you know you'll see where it sits where that light and those shadows sit you know we just go back over it all right but again keep it really thin keep it really light okay and you'll just see it take shape okay hopefully you can just kind of see the tones starting to take shape within this model now we are going to do something that i learned off hmm amy snugs Is that amy snugs yeah, I think it was, who does do something on gold. And we're going to use a purple. And we are going to, when I say, we're going to go over very, very lightly. I mean, this is a, this is more than just a wash. This is like, just super, super, super light. So get your, uh, get your Shaiish purple. And again, your Lamian medium, and this needs to be like the th like two, two to three parts Lamian medium to one part shayish purple. Okay, and this is literally just in all the creases, really, really quickly. 
just in all the creases kind of going over the areas that you've done not on the highlights on the isolated areas but just in all the bits where you've done very very loosely very light again just be messy with it but we are just literally just this will sit nicely just in those cracks okay but this is just a real quick very thin layer just all in the cracks you know all of those areas that you've already done super 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 glaze over and I mean like this is almost it's just for a little bit of the eye of the beholder detail okay this is just your eye of the beholder detail just to make that model pop a little bit more okay but make sure this is not thick this needs to be like I can say two to three parts Lamium medium to your um, shiny purple okay but super light just over everything nothing wild see super 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 light and the recesses it just gives it that little bit more of a vibrancy within the model okay happy I reckon so right there's that shade purple now applied properly so our final bit is going to be our cyber brown now it's very very important that this is thinned down because cyber brown is a very dark color okay super super dark this is what's going to give us our contrast a real nice amount of contrast so again get the cycle brown into our previous mix as you can see it here and once again lamy and medium to maybe three parts lamy and medium to cycle brown now this is going to sit right in the the crevices of our model so we're literally just under the bottom areas okay into the studs little bits into where those shadows would sit okay and into the other areas just nice around the, the buckle loop okay and into these darker recesses and on the bottom but you just need to keep it thin okay make sure your paintbrush is wet constantly okay and again all we're doing we're just getting into those little recesses and this is not not glazing over anything just where you've placed that uh, that gorgon to fur is literally where you're now placing just the darker areas into that's uh, so you the paint into those, those recess areas okay just to give it that bit of depth you're not putting this all over the model we're just adding depth to the cycle brown okay but really into those creased areas you'll just really start to see it take take shine okay okay if you feel like you've maybe gone a bit too far with it just move it around if you can see it pulling just move the paint around all right but again nice and light take loads off the brush just moving it around 
those creased areas. Okay. Nice and light, nice and easy. Okay. Right, there you go, you can now see that. It's taken its effect quite nicely, I think. Um, so now, all we're going to do, <coughs> we're gonna go back with our skeleton hoard, and we're just gonna very, very nicely, just a quick, a quick glaze over the top. Okay, just a very quick glaze over the top with our skeleton hoard. Our Lamian medium, okay. Lamian medium, and it's just literally just a very quick, quick glaze over. Nothing wild, just really quickly, just in all the areas, and just to give it a bit of, bit of a pop, bit of a shine. Not a shine, but a bit of a matted look. Just over top, just before we do our final little sandry dust. Dry brush over the top. You know the classic. Yeah, we just get all this all over. Okay, all over the model. Well, all over the gold bits anyway. Okay. So usually I would do um, sandry dust, but for this we're just going to go straight to your shafty bone for the for the highlight. As you can see, I think that looks pretty decent so far. Hopefully you guys can see that. Okay, a really easy technique um, for the model. So your shafty bone. Remember, we want the Citadel dry brush for this, and I am taking I am taking all of this off. This needs to be like off, off, off. Okay. And all I'm doing is just brushing down the model, picking out those highlights. You don't need to go hard with this. Just nice and light. Picking out those highlights. Okay. I'm not going under the model. We're just brushing down the model. Okay. Brushing down the model. Okay. A bit more, same again. Take it all off. Okay, take it all off. Take it all off. Bit on your fingers. Cool. And again. And you'll just start to see it all really take shape. Remember, nice and light. You don't want to be like stabbing it and pressing hard. This is a, a feathered, a feathered touch, as it were. Okay, feathered touch, and there you go. And that, ladies and gentlemen, right there is your non-metallic metals, just using slap chop. Easy as. Right, I suppose I better do the classic thing of uh, skipping to the part where I've finished the whole model and you get to see it properly done. Okay onward right there he is all all finished uh, so you've added the blues 
some basing stuff, a bit of silver, like actual silver, but otherwise, that's him. All of them. Let me know what you think to uh, this sort of really easy, uh, simple, non-metal metallics look. Uh, if it worked for you, let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you thought it was a complete waste of time and slap top is the worst, please Ian, feel free to let me know. But yes, there he is, your Stormcaster Tunnel, slap chomped, MMM style, done. Cheers guys, thanks for watching, see you on the next one, bye bye.